All right, everybody, we're going to get started now. Thank you very much. So good morning, we're all Ottawa, colleagues, the city staff, senior leadership team, city manager, the mayor, my rural colleagues, resident working group. First of all, I, I have to uh, I have to do this. You guys are on camera this morning in here, so I just want to give everyone a heads up that uh, that is happening. We are recording this session, so just for everyone's information, the back of your head will be on camera. <laughs> Uh, a couple of people that I'd like to acknowledge uh, right off the bat, we have Mayor Crystal Lowry from uh, Mississippi Mills, who's also our rep of the uh, Rural Ontario Municipal Association. We have our urban colleagues, Councillor King and Councillor Brockington. We have the Canada Carlton Member of Provincial Parliament, Karen McCrimmon. We have Sean Webster, the Deputy Chief of Staff to the Premier. First of all, on behalf of my colleagues and members of the Resident Working Group, I want to sincerely thank you all for being here this morning to continue the conversation on how the city of Ottawa can better serve its rural residents. This is a very important conversation, and it's been too many years, too many terms of council since we had it. We are changing. It's always a strange feeling when something you've been working towards for almost two years is here, but I've been waiting to say these words for the better part of two years. Welcome to the 2024 Rural Summit. <laughs> Why are we here? In 2001, when some of us were probably in elementary school, 11 municipalities, Cumberland, Gloucester, Goulburn, Canada, Nepean, Osgood, Ottawa, Rio, Rockland Park, Bangor, and of course, West Carlton, amalgamated to form the new city of Ottawa. The Rural Summit was supposed to be a key ingredient to a successful amalgamation for former rural townships and communities, and it was supposed to be happening each term of council since. That didn't happen, and, and until today, we have not had a rural summit in 17 years. Why they have not been happening, I don't know. But I am very proud of the fact that my very first action as a city councillor was to move a motion to bring back the rural summit. And when you hear that list of 11 very distinct municipalities, from cities with their own police force to rural villages and townships, it's very hard to imagine that what works in the Glebe or downtown is going to work in Goulburn, Navin, Cumberland, or West Carlton. Since an automation, rural residents have consistently been less satisfied with the services they receive from the city than their urban and suburban residents. And what we have heard over and over again, and some of you may be even getting sick of it, but you're going to hear a lot more times today, is that a one-size-fits-all approach to policy development and implementation in a city that spans almost 3,000 square kilometers and is 85% rural does not work. That is why I moved the motion, and that's one of the goals of the summit, is to have that recognized and fix that. It may have been me who moved the motion to bring back the summit, but I can assure you that this was a full team effort, and I want to thank all of my rural colleagues for their effort, and as well as the mayor for, for all the work that we've done to get here today. Councillor Kitts, Councillor Drews, Councillor Brown, and Councillor Lula. It's been an absolute pleasure in our working alongside you. And we believe that if we continue to work together the way we have, that we will make a noticeable and positive difference in the lives of rural residents in the city of Ottawa. This conversation and process often gets framed this way, but I reject that this is about rural versus urban or vice versa. This is about finding solutions that work for all residents, including rural ones. Throughout this term, almost every time an issue comes up that is about rural challenges or doing something different, doing something different than what it says in black and white, we have achieved broad support from our council colleagues and come to the decision that we were looking for. And we couldn't have done that today without the next person I want to thank, our mayor, Mark Sutcliffe. Not only has he been supportive of these efforts from the summit from day one, but he has been working hard for a long time, the senior leadership team and rural councillors, to ensure that these efforts yield real, deliverable results for rural communities. And I want to sincerely thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your efforts. And while the mayor and the rural councillors may be the public face of this initiative and the new stories that are associated with it, we of course did not get here without the very hard work and dedication from our resident working group members who I'm going to name right now, and I would ask when, we're done, when I'm done that you all stand up. Yuri Lokomalis, Steve LeConte, Carolyn Etzer, Glenn Edwards, Shirley Dolan, Ken Holmes, Megan Ann Gordon, Wendy Edwin, Matt McGraw, and Chris Nguyen. Can you please stand up and hear you? And let's give a round of applause. A couple more people that I want to thank. 
John Light. Works in the mayor's office. I don't even know his job title, to be honest, but he's so helpful. And he's been so amazing since he came on board, and, and I love working with him. And, and I don't think we would have gotten here today without his assistance as well. And finally, I want to thank Stefan Galipo, uh, stakeholder engagement coordinator for the city of Ottawa, for his tremendous efforts in coordinating this event. It's no small task to coordinate all the workshops, public engagements, the survey, and the summit itself. Not to mention having to deal with the five of us and our sometimes whimsical demands. <laughs> we are all here today because of concerns and frustration. But I will ask that everyone participating in discussions today channels that energy in a positive and solution oriented manner, and that we respect each other's positions and opinions even if they differ from our own. Coming together and finding consensus is how we will ensure that we will get our goals reached. We all have a role to play here today and moving forward and making sure we take advantage of the best opportunity we've had in 17 years to improve life for rural residents in the city of Ottawa. And my final point is that I know many of you here today were at the last summit, maybe even the one before that. And you're saying, I've done this before, I've said these things before, and nothing changed. Well, we're not going to solve all the problems here today. But I can tell you with a very high level of confidence that this mayor and these five councillors are going to work extremely hard to make sure that in five or ten years from now, no one is saying that. Let's get to work.